How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about Packers seventh round draft pick wide receiver Grant DeBose from Charlotte. DeBose was the third wide receiver the Packers drafted in the 2023 draft after Jaden Reed in the second round and Dontavian Wicks in the fifth round. So to start things off, DeBose might not see much action year one, if at all. He could even end up being a practice squad wide receiver, but my eyes are on him making the roster, making that 53-man roster as that sixth wide receiver. And today I'm going to show you why by breaking down and going over his film. I believe DeBose is a criminally underrated wide receiver for this last year's draft class. Very similar to Samori Torre from last year. Not the type of player they are, but how underrated they were. Last year, I did the same thing with Torre where I went over his film and I was very, very surprised um, by his ability. And now it's the same thing with Grant DeBose this year. They're two different types of wide receivers, but for DeBose to fall to the seventh round, likely due to the competition you know, he was playing against, but he still shows a lot of promise at that wide receiver position. Bringing up his RAS, DeBose is 6'2", 201 pounds. He also ran a pretty slow 40-yard dash at a 4.57, but he had a really nice 10-yard split, so he has amazing burst off the line. We see with a 1.52 10-yard split. He has a good broad jump at 10'5", a 35-inch vertical, and a decent three-cone at 6.89. Now, I do believe it will take a couple of years for DeBose to fully arise to his full potential. And like I said, I don't see him getting many snaps this year. And if he does, it'll be for a special team's purpose, maybe as a gunner. But in terms of the future potential at wide receiver, I think DeBose is here to stay. And I think he will be a contributor to this offense in a few years. His two years at Charlotte in 2021, he had 62 receptions for 892 yards and six touchdowns. Then last year in 2022, he had 64 receptions for 792 yards and nine nine touchdowns. DeBose also played nearly 88% of his snaps at out wide wide receiver in his college career, so very rarely did he play in the slot. So for the Green Bay Packers, he's going to be a perimeter wide receiver. He's not someone that's going to beat you with his speed, but he shows great promise in his route running ability, his contested catch ability, and he runs a really nasty fade. Before we get into the film, first let's hear a word from today's video sponsor. So Father's Day is right around the corner and you haven't gotten your dad anything yet. Don't worry, that's where today's video sponsor, Manscaped, comes into play. You and I both know he needs some serious grooming in his life, so grab your dad the Performance Package 4.0 and he'll thank you for helping him tame his beast. It's a win-win situation for both mom and dad. Head to manscaped.com using my code BASS, B-A-S, to get 20% off your entire order plus free shipping. Manscaped is the only men's brand dedicated to below-the-waist grooming and perfected their game with the Lawnmower 4.0. Their fourth generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. And you may ask, how is the Lawnmower 4.0 different from other trimmers? This upgraded trimmer includes a multi function on off switch that can engage a travel lock. This is a great feature if your father or yourself does a lot of traveling. It also gives you the ability to turn the 4000 lumen LED spotlight on and off for a more precise shave. Have you ever seen a bush sticking out of your dad's nose? Well, the Weed Whacker 2.0 nose and ear hair trimmer is the best nose hair trimmer on the market and a perfect gift for your pops. So go and get your dad a gift you know they will use. Remember that's 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com using my code BASS, B-A-S. Don't forget that you came from your dad's balls so this year show your original home some love with Manscaped. All right, so without further ado, let's get right into the film. In this first clip, DeBose is on the bottom of the screen here and he's being covered by Deontay Banks, the New York Giants first round selection with a 10.0 RAS. Deontay Banks was a excellent corner last year and DeBose is going up against him. Obviously the best cornerback is going to be on DeBose. He was the best receiver on that Charlotte offense. So he's at the bottom of the screen here. He's going to be running a fade route and honestly Banks does an excellent job at covering him but DeBose does a better job at fighting off the physicality of Banks and basically creating the separation he needs to get open. So I'm going to let this run once through and as we see Banks is going to try to early get his hands on DeBose and he's going to fight through that and still catch a touchdown here. It's a very nice, th nicely thrown ball. So right off the break, uh, we see Banks is playing the outside. He has no help over the top. He doesn't want DeBose to run vertical on him. He doesn't want to allow a fade route. That's exactly what DeBose is running. He does a really good job at squaring up Banks, you know, giving a little bit of a jab inside. It doesn't really take Banks off his platform. Like I said, Banks does a good job in this play covering up uh, DeBose. He gets hands on DeBose first, but he does a really good job at fighting through that contact. And even though he has 
you know, hands still on him from Banks, and he's right on his hips. He does a really good job at getting his head around and then, you know, having late hands to catch the football to where Banks really doesn't even know the ball's there until it's too late, and it's a touchdown. Here on this play, DeBose is at the bottom of the screen, and if you remember earlier when I said he runs a really nasty, you know, fade route, nine route, and that's where a lot of his film is from today. Um, basically just getting it outside release and going vertical and he does an excellent job here awesome extension of the catch there so right off the break um, let's rewind this a little bit right off the break the cornerbacks in man coverage here press man and DeBose does a good job at least you know squaring him back up threatening inside a little bit and again getting right outside of that cornerback's frame the frame the cornerback really has to extend to try to get his hands on DeBose and every time I see DeBose run a fade route, he does a very good job at fighting through contact. And like I said, he's not going to burn you with his speed, but he's going to do a great job at keeping that separation from you, using his hands, using his physicality. And then, of course, you know, making an excellent catch here. I mean, this is a diving catch. He's He left his feet. That's an absolutely insane catch there by Grant DeBose on this nine round. On this play, we have DeBose at the top of the screen. Again, he's going to be running a fade route into the back left corner of this end zone. It looks like this corner cornerbacks in a little bit inside shade so he's kind of given to Bose the outside um, I believe they're in man coverage here and again physicality this is what I've taken from him and quick feet off of the line of scrimmage as we saw his 10 yard split in his RAS is extremely high he has very good burst off the line of scrimmage where he doesn't win is the top speed but where he does win is physicality like I said so he gets outside of this cornerback the cornerback tries to get get his hand on him he swipes that right away it's a back shoulder fade here DeBose is going to do an excellent job at boxing out this cornerback and separating you know that cornerback has to fight through him and he's not able to and DeBose is using his frame perfectly here to allow that ball to you know find him high and outside and that's an easy touchdown for him up and high nice ball by the quarterback there even better job DeBose boxing out kind of like a basketball player getting a rebound um, a lot of times watching him do these fade routes he's really good at doing that here we have DeBose running something other than a nine route he's kind of in the slot here this cornerbacks in outside shade man coverage DeBose is going to be running a dig route here and he does this perfectly in terms of setting up this dig route so we'll run it once through here and it is a completion it's nice nice separation by DeBose there and getting upfield um, fighting through a tackle there fighting for extra yard so if we replay this play so off the line off the break DeBose is going to start by threatening vertical this cornerback is outside shade so he's trying to stop the outside route but DeBose is still going to threaten that to play against the cornerback's leverage then therefore giving him more inside uh, space he makes one good step one good explosive step to the inside um, so really good there then he's still threatening vertical he's not slowing down he's not lowering his pads and his eyes are forward so at this point he's still threatening vertical until the very last moment when he stops on a dime and breaks inside on that dig route and you can see how much separation it creates rates on that cornerback I mean the cornerback has no chance at that point he's on the outside hip of DeBose DeBose is still threatening vertical and the cornerback still think this could be a simple seam this could be a post route but DeBose does an excellent job at selling it like that selling it vertical until the very last moment not giving him any tells like I said like slowing down um, a few steps before his break or lowering his, his pads a few steps before the break anything of that of that sort nice job getting the catch and then also getting around this defender here you, you don't like players to go east and west you kind of want to see north and south but a really nice job getting around that defender and then also his physicality again fighting through these tackles and fighting for every single extra yard here here we have DeBose at the top of the screen he's playing against old dominion here it's off man inside shade and he's gonna be running an, an out and up route i love these type of routes uh because you really can beat a cornerback on a double move if your quarterback has enough time enough time and delivers a nice ball in this instance it's a very poorly thrown ball but DeBose does a good job it's still fighting through that coming back to the ball and making a physical catch which is the story of his film today being physical so let's let this run once through here we see the out and up he does a good job selling that the cornerback gets a little bit of a hold on him um, not called but again horrible throw but DeBose still comes back fights towards that ball and makes a really nice physical contested catch so as for the route as we see here like I said the cornerbacks inside shade so he's giving him the outside so DeBose really has to sell this out route and I think he does a decent job at it it's not perfect but it's not bad so he does a good job on his break 
a little bit rounded. You would like to see that a little more in line, but he does a good job at uh, turning his hips, his shoulders, and his head as well. So that forces that cornerback to want to undercut the out route because, like I said, he's inside shade, so he's giving up the outside. So right now he's going, darn, he, you know, I, I, I gave up this out route. I, I need to cover this ground. I need to undercut this route. So, like I said, that that does a good that's a good setup for an out and up route. And then off that break, he comes right back upfield. This cornerback, like I said, is trying to undercut. So he's on his inside hip here. And at this point, he is beat. And the cornerback gets a hand on him. A little bit of a hold. I don't know if necessarily that would be called. But again, horribly thrown ball. But a really nice job of DeBose coming back to it. You know, locating the ball, coming back to it. And, and attacking the ball, not waiting for it to come to him, attacking the football, going up, like I said, high pointing the football. He's very good in 50 50 catch, um, contested catch situations. And he does a good job at this. And the cornerback, you know, ever since the second break off that out and up was kind of, you know, just trying to catch up to DeBose, didn't even know where the ball was. If that was a correctly thrown ball over the top, it's probably a touchdown. But nonetheless, it was a poorly thrown ball. But DeBose still comes down with it. Here we have DeBose at the bottom of the screen again running a fade route and he makes a very nice contested catch here. Nothing that I haven't said already about him running a fade. Really nice job fighting through contact, late hands, and getting that ball up out of his you know frame to where the cornerback can't knock it out. Excellent, excellent job here. And like I said, a lot of his film is fade routes and I think that's where he's at his best in the red zone running a fade route getting physical with a cornerback and high pointing a football that's where Grant DeBose is the best and it shows in his tape really nice catch here real physical catch that cornerback had no shot at it awesome play so here we have a nine route by DeBose on the outside on the left side here so you might be thinking at this point is he a one trick pony does he simply just run vertical can he run any more of the route tree and yes a lot of his routes were, you know, nines, verticals, that sort of thing on the outside at Charlotte. But I do believe he has the prowess to run uh, the full route tree. Now, this is still a nine route, but it was a double move. He does a nice hesitation at the top of this route. And that's just kind of showing that, yeah, he still can do technical type of routes. Really nice drop of the pads in the helmet there. And that completely freezes the cornerback. And he's going to continue up and burst off of that drop. So he still has good speed. It's just nothing that's going to wow you at the NFL level. But he wins otherwise, like I said, in physicality. But he still does have the quick feet and ability to run the entirety of the route tree, in my opinion. I just think, like I said, it will take a couple years for him to fully get into that NFL speed and that NFL level. But like I said, I do believe he'll be a contributor on the Green Bay Packers for years to come. And here is another great example of his ability to run something other than just a nine route, right? He's going to be running a post corner here. This cornerback's back here in off zone coverage. So DeBose is really going to have to sell this post. And he does an excellent job at that. So right off the break, you see he's committed to the post. He's taking three stride steps, pointing his hips, pointing his shoulders. Uh, it would have been 100% perfect if he turned his head and looked back at the quarterback. But nonetheless, he still has this corner completely sold that this is a post. He's trying to get over the top and track DeBose and try to stop this post from happening. And DeBose does an excellent job of then cutting on a dime and swiping underneath this cornerback. And the cornerback ends up holding him and basically tackling him. That's an easy penalty because he was going to be so wide open. The cornerback actually did a good job at holding him here because if not, it would have been a touchdown if the quarterback found uh, DeBose out on this corner route. Like I said, perfectly executed route. Um, all three of these wide receivers the Packers drafted, I've seen them run post corners. They do it to a T by the book. So I'm really happy to, that it seems like they got more like technical wide receivers this year, not just straight up, straight line speed type of wide receivers, which is fine to have. Uh, but I feel like this year they really went for the technical aspect of wide receivers, not necessarily their thresholds with height and speed and all of that sort. And really nice ran route by DeBose here. The cornerback had no other option but to pretty much tackle him. Did an excellent job selling on that post. It actually looked like he was running that post. He takes three burst steps. He's going upfield. If you're not going to make it look like you're running a post, no cornerback in the NFL level is going to is going to you know believe that. They're just going to stay outside. And if you slow up and take three slow steps to the inside, or don't really sell your hips or your shoulder pads, no NFL level defensive back is going to believe you, and they're going to stay outside, and your corner is not going to be open. But Debose does the perfect exact opposite of that correctly and getting open here on the corner where the cornerback has to pretty much tackle him here we have some senior bowl clips uh debose at the bottom of the screen here i believe that's riley moss the cornerback there he's in outside man coverage here debose is going to be running a zig route so 
basically right now the cornerback is giving you the inside so you want to attack as a leverage so off the snap debose is going to attack his leverage and, and is going to threaten vertical by giving him a nice step uh really step to the outside so one jab there that's going to put riley moss off his platform then debose is going to really sell this like it's a slant and that's perfect because if you're running a zig similar to the post corner you really have to sell that you're cutting inside and you're expecting the ball at that very moment quarterback very well could have thrown that ball right there but if it's a design zig obviously your design is to really sell that slant and then break back outside you should be wide open because at this point riley moss is fighting for you know to get back to to grant devos he's going to over pursue a lot because he's already beat by three yards at this point so he does a good job of getting one foot in the ground little could have got out of that a little bit quicker uh, but nonetheless you know he like i said he doesn't have the crazy speed he's, he's nice from stop to start ability so once he stops and gets going his burst or his 10 yard split so call it for the ras at least is very fast so he gets out of there quick even through a hold there and does a nice catch in traffic obviously it's senior bolso not real live tackling but still nonetheless a really nice route in that zig route and a nice job you know staying on his feet remain keeping his balance making a catch through contact there um and then getting upfield so we have one more clip from the senior bowl 1v1 and he's going to be running you guessed it a fade route i think this cornerback is inside shade i can't really tell due to the camera angle but debose does a good job at attacking the cornerback's leverage and at least threatening hey i could be running a slant here because you know in these 1v1s it's not always just okay 100 percent going to be running a fade route uh, but these cornerbacks are going to line up in different shades to kind of see what the wide receiver is going to do so off the break he's going to square up this cornerback and give one really nice step to the inside taking this cornerback off his platform to the point where now he's got to reach out and try to get his hands on grant debose and like the all the other clips every time a cornerback is off his platform and trying to get his hands on grant debose debose usually ends up winning fighting through the contact creating enough separation and doing a really nice job at the top end of this route as you see here at this point he has two yard separation on this cornerback he already created two yards on this outside fade route and that's an easy walk in touchdown for granted bose like i said the things i'm impressed with most with him easily is his physicality his ability to run a very very crisp fade route and his late hands his contested catch situation and his late hands and just to point this out the reason late hands are are important so right here yeah obviously the ball's coming because you're in a 1v1 situation but this cornerback is so far off of you right now he's watching your eyes so if your hands go up super early that cornerback's hands are going to go up as well he's going to know hey the ball's about to come let me at least try to get my hands up to block this so this is why late hands are very important as you see you know his hands are just going up at that last moment and at that point the cornerback has no time to react and it's a touchdown so that does it for all the film i have on grant debose like i said he only played two years at charlotte and there is lower competition i know that's a lot of people's you know issue with some of these type of players where it looks like you know they they do really well on their tape but half the players they're playing against will never be a defensive back at the nfl level which can be true but the one things you look for is the technicalities of the wide receiver or the things they are doing, the routes they are running, not based on how the, the defensive back plays it. Yeah, if the defensive back does horrible and doesn't cover it well, that's fine. But what you're looking at is the way they ran that route, the way they released off that fade, the, how they attacked that certain cornerback's leverage. So those are things that Grant DeBose did well in terms of his fade routes. The post corner he ran the out and up was pretty good as well. And in terms of his physicality, if a defensive back is being physical, Grant DeBose does an excellent job at swiping hands away and being even more physical and creating separation with his hands, with his body, boxing out and going up and getting the football. I'm super excited for DeBose, and like I said, I don't believe it's gonna be this year unless major injuries happen or there's a extreme lack of production in the wide receiver room and they just need to start trying whatever um, towards the middle of the year. I don't see him getting many snaps um, on the offense this year, but that doesn't mean he's not gonna contribute in future years. So last year, I kind of said the same thing with Toure, where, you know, extremely underrated in my eyes I believe in future years he will get snaps and last year he even got more snaps than I thought he would and this year I think he'll get even more than that and he could even you know contest at that slot position maybe they'll throw him in sometimes at the slot maybe they'll throw Jane Reed sometimes in the slot the beauty with Reed is he can play inside play outside um, I think Torrey is kind of more of that you know pure slot in my opinion and I think the Packers will give him snaps early on this year um, I know wide receiver coach Jason Rabel's been you know 
talking about Samori Tori a ton. So I'm comparing these two because I think Debose will take a similar route where it's this year. He's not going to get many offensive snaps, but in future years, I think he could become a very solid contributor at outside wide receiver for the Packers. Also, I made videos just like this for Jaden Reed and Tay Wicks. So if you want to go watch the Jaden Reed one, click the link right above. I go over all the tape um, from him and why I'm super excited for Jaden Reed. And the same thing with Tay Wicks. I love this wide receiver class. So if you want to go watch the Tay Wicks video, click the link right above as well. I'd really suggest go watching all three of these videos um, in succession, the wide receiver tape, just to kind of get an idea of what wide receivers or what they will be in this Packers offense and what they bring to the table. And like I said, I love this wide receiver class. Honestly, it's probably my favorite class the Packers have drafted in a very long time. And I think all three will be good wide receivers in the NFL. And I'm not just trying to be like a homer here or bias. I do believe in all three of these wide receivers. When I watch tape and I see the things that I see, you know, that speaks volume. But that about does it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this and you are a new viewer, I'd really appreciate it if you went down and clicked the subscribe button. Also, leave a comment down below. What player um, out of this rookie draft class would you like to see next? I did all the wide receivers because I'm very comfortable in watching wide receiver film. I've played it my whole life um, and I still do recreationally. So I know what to look for, but I can still go over other film of other players. Let me know down in the comments below what player out of this draft class you would like to see next. But that about does it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below. I'll catch you on the next one, and as always, go.